Hello, my lovelies. I wanted to get on here. Um, this is actually my phone that I'm using, so it's like a totally different setup. Um, I wanted to get on here and talk to you guys just for a couple minutes and kind of tell you what's going on in my life right now. Um, if you saw my Facebook, if you see me over there, and if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know this. But I wanted to let you guys know because a lot of you guys are not on social media and you kind of don't know what's going on. I um, lost my nephew unexpectedly this past Tuesday, um, May the 4th. And it was really hard because he is someone that I grew up with. I was 12 and a half years old when he was born. And we had this little kindred relationship because we share a lot of the same things in common. We both had a mental illness and we were the only ones in the family that kind of understood each other for the longest time. Um, so we were always there for each other. He would message me um, like on Facebook or he would text me and say, Aunt Jenny, you know, this is going on. And I'd be the one that would kind of understand, you know, where he was coming from a lot of the times. And my sister used to tease me all the time and say, are you sure he's not your kid? You know, and that was kind of like the joke in the family. And he and I were really, really close. He was 40 years old. His name is Joshua. And he was at work. He had just moved out back home from out west. Um, and he was at work doing lawn care. He was supposed to work Monday and they had a bad storm. Or we had a bad storm and it rained and he couldn't work. So he went to work Tuesday and the guys just loved him there. Um, they loved him when they met him. And um, he was weed eating. And he sat down and collapsed and died. The rescue squad got there and before they could even get to the hospital he died and they called my sister and said you need to pull over and they told her and my son ryan called me because my sister who's actually my stepsister but she's my sister you know there's no such thing as steps in my family um and she actually married my ex-husband it's a long story but it's it's actually really good because the family dynamics is actually really good um it's just it happened 23 years ago so it's not anything weird um, so my son is actually his brother and that sounds weird, but it, it works. So, um, no weird things in the comments because it works, but he's the one that called me and I had taken Jacob to get his vaccine and the name of the road that we were on is Joshua Freeman. Yeah. Kind of weird in it. And he said, mom, take me off speakerphone because I was in the car and we had it on speakerphone. And he told me that Joshua died. I didn't know what to say and he explained to me what had happened and you could just hear the pain in his voice because he grew up with him you know Ryan is 28 years old or be 28 this year and you know Josh has been with them for 23 years so my ex-husband is not his uncle you know he's his dad and my sister is lost she's lost so please send prayers to her. It's just been a really, really rough week. Um, his funeral's the 22nd. They are doing a cremation. Um, and she understands that I can't be at the reception part, you know, because when all the masks come off and she's, she's okay with that, she understands. But that day's going to be so hard, guys. Um, if you've seen the videos that are up now, and the ones that are going to be like the BoxyCharm and whatever else it was. I did put a little notation in the BoxyCharm video, but some of you guys don't read the description boxes. But those videos are pre-filmed. They're pre-filmed back in April. I haven't filmed anything. I haven't even put makeup on at all this week. So I apologize to my sponsors out there that I have not put any makeup on. I've been just posting pictures like this. Um, and the videos that you'll see next week are also pre-filmed. So it may look happy and go lucky, but... Obviously, I'm not. Um, I'm doing better than my sister, obviously. You know, she was her firstborn. She was born when he was 19. Sorry, guys. Um, but I don't know when I'll film again. I don't have anything else filmed besides the couple of videos that are going up. And I have one that I filmed like 
I don't even know when I filmed it because I forgot about it. It was like one of those um, things that I got in my subscription boxes that I repurchased thing. It's like so long that I thought about refilming it, but I didn't. But I just wanted to um, let you guys know like what's going on and why you might not see videos for a week maybe I don't know maybe I need to get on and like just do the videos like without makeup you know you guys have seen me without makeup more than people locally have seen me without makeup you know and I know you guys don't care and I love you for that you guys have brought me out of my shell so much and I just I post pictures like this on Instagram with the makeup and I never would have done that like ever 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 and it's I know it's you guys that allow me to be me and and I love that about my channel and I'm so grateful for you guys being here and I know all the prayers that I get um, have helped me a lot too. But right now I need you to pray for my family, not just for me, but for them. Um, tomorrow's Mother's Day and she's really going to need prayers. We lost our dad two years ago this month um, and this is just, this could be a hard month to get through because the week after the funeral is the day that is the day he died. So this is not going to be a good month moving forward for any of us, but especially for her. I just feel so bad for her, guys, and for my ex-husband, because he's like his dad, you know? They're just really going through it, and my son. You guys can just find it in your heart to send positive vibes and prayers to them. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, I love you guys so, so much. And just thank you for being there. Thank you for all that you do for me and for everyone else um, on this channel. Thank you for all your comments. And I'll, I'll try to get to those comments. I know I'm a little bit behind. Um, but I did, you know, get on here and, and upload those videos because... You know, we went camping last weekend. Camping was, it was a horrible campsite. Let's just put it that way. We're supposed to go camping next week, but I don't know if we are. Um, but we're supposed to. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to kind of get on here and let you know some of the stuff that's going on right now. Um, but thank you guys. I love you so much. Um, and I'll, I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.